on. Let's get. All right. So the first and easiest method is using my ball player glitch. Okay. As you can see right here, opening up one of the diamond packs is going to net you about 38 to 40 thousand stubs super super fast and easy stub making method if you didn't watch the video how to make the best and overpowered pitcher in the game go check that video out go through the entire playlist so right here we have 14,000 stubs 5,000 stubs 36,000 stubs minimum 12,000 stubs and 9,000 stubs easy easy way to make a lot of stubs i can sell it for even more on the market okay so that's gonna put me up to another hundred thousand stubs but right here we're gonna look at my team real quick i am currently undefeated with this all diamond squad no money spent don't have to have the best players in each position i've slowly started working toward collections but once the first roster update goes live probably the next week or next 10 days, then I will have an additional 100 to 150,000 stubs, and then I can start knocking out some of the more expensive collections. Now, I'm gonna walk through everything that you need to know as far as how the diamonds and the quick sales work this year and how you can make a lot of profit. All right, so first we're gonna look at my completed orders recently. I've been investing in Harrison Bader, Ty France, Jonah Hine. Also been investing in Jared Walsh's and Nick Castellanos. Now, it's two different tiers on investments. You have investments on certain cards that you think might get supercharged very, very soon because they are playing above their average. And then you have cards that are low price that have a chance to make you profit as soon as the roster update goes live. So looking at this Jared Walsh, this Jared Walsh, you can get him for under 1,000 stubs. Now, a 85 overall this year is only a 3,000 quick sell. So he's playing up to an 86 overall with inside edge. He's betting a 355 on the season with two home runs, six RB eyes okay so that right there should give him a power boost like i said he's playing up to an 86 overall inside edge so if he goes up to an 85 in the next two roster updates that will automatically be a three thousand stub quick sell so that's going to give you about a 2100 profit every single investment that you have this price would not go any lower than this but if you wait until the last second, it will go up to 14, 16, 1700 for you to be able to buy them. So right now I'm giving you insight on who to get, why they are very low. Hold them in your biter. So it might not be this roster update, but if he stays on the path that he is doing right now in the next roster update, he will get upgraded. So he might go plus one right now, and then he would just need that plus two, and you would be making 2000 stubs for each investment now as far as supercharged investments this yai man cho is 231 stubs now he's playing up to a 75 overall that is not what's going to get you the biggest quick sell value but right now he is betting a 455 with a 0.864 slugging he has seven rbis three doubles and two home runs so pretty soon if he has that big game where he has three hits in the game plus a home run with two rbis or something like that he will get supercharged so this small investment of 231 stubs can turn you into a 17 1800 stub profit so we have two different stub making methods in this video you have the long-term investments for the roster updates and then you have the quick supercharge investments for right now and on this channel drop a thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed i'm going to be putting out a lot of videos just like this with a lot of insight to help you guys take advantage now before we continue on the investments let's go into how you can get your stub count to go up right now so you can have these investments very very easy so what you want to do is you want to go through your inventory mlb players Go into filters, push X or square, and then do between 73 overall and 77 overall. So come right here, 73 to 77 overall. Then right here, you want to do live series player. So once you do that, you're going to look for cards with higher value and sell them off. 
Okay, so 77, 78 overalls only have a quick sale at about 150 to 200 stubs. Now, right now, everybody is still learning how the market works. So after a while, I would say three weeks to a month, the silvers and stuff will die off. So you can go in your inventory right now and take advantage of it. So this 77 is 479 stubs, okay? But then you're going to find other 77s that have a way higher value like this 78 right here, Corey Kluber. I have three of these. They are 1,163 stubs a piece, okay? So you have some 78s that's going to be 400 stubs, and then you have some that is way over market value. Now, getting silvers and getting golds is going to be something that you get every time that you open a pack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go sell these off right now. I'm going to always do a sell order and not quick sell. So I will go 1,465. I will go four under the buy price to the left, okay? Sell that off right there 1465 try to get as many in as i can for that price before it start changing okay so that's three of them that we sold off so instead of me with the quick sell getting 200 stubs 200 stubs 200 stubs that's 600 stub value right there instead i'm gonna get 6,000 stubs for that car right now so you go through your inventory and you find any silvers with value. You want to get rid of them unless it's somebody that you are sure is going to get that plus four to plus five overall boost. Otherwise, you're going to be waiting for a long time. So you can see right here, a regular 77 playing up to an 81 overall is around 345 to 400 stubs. Even if he goes up to an 80 overall, he will only have a 400 quick sell. So that right there is a 50 stub profit but if you find a 77 or a 78 overall over 1000 stubs make sure that you take that guaranteed 700 stub profit while the value is there as you can see this 77 is only 171 stubs that's closer to the quick sell so this is the best way to go through your binder and make sure that you are getting all the profit possible in your binder right now. So as far as long term, I have Harrison Bader right here that I'm invested in. I have Ty France that I'm invested in. And then I also have Jared Walsh and Nick Castellanos. Now, as far as supercharged investments, I have Jaimin Shao, Owen Miller. I know I messed up the name. And then my long-term investments is Nick Castellanos, Harrison Bader, and Ty France and Jared Walsh. So drop a thumbs up on the video. Do all the tips and tricks that I told you about to get your stub count higher. One thing you don't want to do is get caught up in the hype of what other big YouTubers are doing. Number one, it's a text write-off. And number two, when they say no money spent and they have all these good players, it's not really no money spent. Real no money spent players are very patient. It's the same way when you are playing the game and up to bet. You got to be patient, patient with the market. You got to be patient up to bet. You got to be patient with the roster investments. You got to make smart investments so you are not losing stubs. You want to make sure that you are making stubs. And that's what I'm here for. Let's go.